So hello, in this video, I will share with you how to connect your Zoom to Facebook Live or even to YouTube Live. And you just need to, to, to create or to do one simple step in your Zoom account. So all you need to do is just, you know, go to zoom.us and then you will go to this page and then log in. If you're already logged in, just click to my account. And when you click to my account, you will go to this dashboard here and then you'll just hover to your left. Under admin section, there's account management. Just click account management and then find or look for the account settings. And when you click account settings, you will go to this page wherein there's a lot of things that you can do to set up your account and to really improve your experience. So this is a long list of all the activations and everything like an enable personal meeting ID, even adding watermarks. Um, but what we need to do in this video is just connecting Facebook Live or your Zoom to Facebook Live so that if you have a Facebook group, you don't need to even record your, your, your meeting and, or, or your webinar and just, it will just be posted there. Or probably if there are people who don't have their own Zoom app or they don't want to use Zoom for whatever reason, then you can just let them go to your, your secret Facebook group or any public Facebook group or even your Facebook page, wherever you want to link it and then broadcast there. So this is really effective and, and really useful. Before, I don't know about this, but um, once I learn about it, again, those people who don't want to join Zoom, uh, the Zoom meetings or don't have the app or just too slow to, to use any app outside Facebook so you can use this. So all you need to do is just, you know, scroll down in this page and look for um, this part, right? There's a lot of things like the in-meeting basic. And then um, yeah, you can even use co-host or polling. You can turn it on or turn it off. Turn it off. Um, you can use the whiteboard if you want to write something. Um, and then the in-meeting advance, you can use the breakout room. Um, you can even do the, the virtual background. You can um, turn it on here. And then you just need to um, look for the live streaming, this section, allow live streaming meeting. So you can pick whether you want to go to Facebook, workplace for, by Facebook or YouTube. It's usually turned off. Uh, it's usually turned off if you are using this for the first time or you're activating this for the first time. So this is usually turned off. So you just need to turn it on and then click this tree. If you would want to use that or if you want to use a custom live streaming service, you still you can just need to do more work for that. And then click save. And that's it. Now you can stream in Facebook or in YouTube using your Zoom app. So those who are not able to view in Zoom or join your Zoom meeting, or for some reason, they are getting rejected and cannot view your meeting and they're lagging behind. So what they can do is they can just go to Facebook. You'll be um, having a live stream there and they can even uh, send comments, type in their comments for their questions or when they're answering in some of the activities. So that's just it. And in your, um, in your, um, dashboard or in your control panel inside your zoom meeting there will be you will see three dots there I cannot just show you because zoom will not allow me to do that but once you've started your meeting there will be three dots that will say more and then when you click that then then you can there are options like live on Facebook live on workplace by Facebook and then live on YouTube go ahead and try it and if it worked for you let me know comment down in the section if you if this helped you and if you like this video don't forget to subscribe in my channel and hit the like button also share this to your friends um, if you feel that this will also benefit from them so that's it for today thank you